The 2018 Florida legislative session went into overtime on Friday when Republican lawmakers, for the third year running, couldn't even pass a budget. Their one constitutionally mandated job, maybe it was because they were too busy passing their latest school privatization scam, HB 7055, which raises base student allocation by one one hundredth of a percent and calls it historic funding levels. The bill, which the governor has yet to indicate whether he'll sign, also attacks teacher professional organizations, as if they're the reason why this week U.S. World and News Report ranked Florida near the bottom for pre-K through 12 education. Lawmakers also found time to pass their so-called school safety bill, which the governor promptly signed. It has very little to do with school safety and everything to do with a bunch of craven politicians running for the cameras and claiming they've actually accomplished accomplished something in response to last month's mass school shooting at a high school in Parkland. Now, Florida teachers, frustrated after 10 years without a proper raise from the state, while corporations have gotten $5 billion in tax cuts, are looking around wondering what options remain. In West Virginia, teachers just scored a 5% pay raise after shutting down schools for 11 days. Oklahoma teachers have already set a strike date, and there's even talk about similar action in both Arizona and Kentucky. It was a remarkable victory for teachers in West Virginia, and it's giving hope to teachers at public schools around the country who've seen wages shrink in recent years, particularly in red states where steep tax cuts have led to deep cuts in school funding. The Miami Herald is reporting that already school officials in 10 of Florida's largest districts are saying they have no plans to arm school staff, citing liability issues. But the new law requires that school boards and superintendents partner with local law enforcement to provide at least one officer or armed school personnel, referred to as, I'm not making this up, guardians. In every school, quote, Districts with tight finances might find themselves backed into a scenario where they can afford only the guardian option. The last minute package is expected to cost $400 million in a year when no money has been allocated for raises. And many teachers are saying they will refuse to work at the Alamo and will no longer tolerate legislation that disrespects our profession. It's been 50 years since the nation's first statewide teacher walkout and chances are more are yet to come. If you found the information in this video helpful, go ahead and share it with a friend. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you can find me again.